was on an evening of curious tranquility As I wandered absent-mindedly through my modest study That I encountered the wretched artifact, the floor around I had long, I had long considered Innocuous and benevolent Betraying me in an instant My foot unshielded and vulnerable Descended upon the unspeakable object An angular shard of geometrical malevolence Known to the mundane world as a Lego block The pain, oh the pain Was not mere physical torment But an assault upon the very core of my being Instant, the veil of reality was rent asunder, and I perceived the truth. This object was not a child's toy, but a relic of cyclopean cruelty, wrought by hands far older and more sinister than our feeble species could fathom its sharp interlocking teeth. Bit into the tender flesh of my soul with a precision that seemed almost deliberate As though it sought to impart some incomprehensible message of anguish A kaleidoscope of sensations engulfed me A fiery radiance of agony shot upward through my leg And my vision swam with unwholesome hues Was it merely pain? Or did I glimpse the abyssal intent of those who had forged this monstrosity? The sharp edges of the block seemed to hum faintly As if resonating with an ancient and alien hymn of suffering I staggered back, clutching my wounded foot Yet the sensation lingered as a phantom pain I knew then But this was no ordinary misstep the Lego block, though seemingly inert, was an emissary of a greater unseen horror A glimpsing horror, a glimpse into the cold and uncaring mechanisms of a cosmos That delights in the torment of fragile beings Its presence whispered of dark geometries and the pitiless logic of structures beyond mortal comprehension In the days that followed I could not rid myself of the memory of that moment. Each step I took seemed a mockery, a reminder of my vulnerability to forces far beyond my control. The Lego block remained where it had fallen, untouched, a monument to my anguish and a warning to those who dared tread upon the path of ignorance. Thus, I record this account not as a plea for pity, but as a dire admonition. Beware the innocuous shapes scattered across your path, for within their banal forms may dwell the seeds of madness.